Texas, Judge Poe. Thank you, Chair. Thank you all for being here. Thank you for what you do. Um, I'm a former prosecutor, left the DA's office in Houston as the capital prosecutor, spent 22 years on the bench in, in Houston uh, trying only felony cases. Saw about 25,000 people coming through the courthouse or the palace of perjury, as I like to refer to it. Um, and uh, I want to specifically, first of all, thank you, Mr. Sheehan, for what you do with Nick Mick. It's a, it's a wonderful organization and it has done a lot of good things uh, for our country. Uh, I'm glad that the child or the Adam Walsh Child Safety Act uh, passed. It's coming up for uh, renewal again. Um, I added uh, in that legislation uh, Section 113, the registration requirement that if you leave one state, you got to register in the next. And while a lot's going on in this building today and there's a lot of hearings going on, uh, what we're talking about are the greatest resource we have. We're not talking about roads and bridges and taxes. We're talking about children. And uh, myself and Jim Costa, of California, were chairs of the uh, Victims' Rights Caucus that promotes uh, victims' rights. A lot of it has to do with uh, this lady right here. Thank you. Jessica Lunsford. Jessica Lunsford, in 2005, and that was a rash of kidnappings, sexual assaults, and murders of children throughout the country. Um, she lived in Florida. She lived with her dad, uh, Mark Lunsford, who I've gotten to know very well. He worked for the city. He drove a truck. Uh, she's asleep in her house in the middle of the night. An intruder comes in and kidnaps her and takes her to his house. And as you talked about other cases, Ms. Hales, he put her in a closet and he took her out from time to time when he wanted to abuse her. And it was over a period of days. He did a lot of bad things to Jessica Lunsford. When he learned that the police was after him, he told her what he was going to do to her. And that's what he did. He tied her up with an extension cord, and he put her in trash bags, and he buried her alive. She was nine when that happened to her. I guess she'd be 21 now. Um, because of her uh, and what happened to her and who the perpetrator was, because he lived in Georgia, and he moved to Florida, and he was a sex offender registered in Georgia, uh, did Child sex offender, imagine that. Cross state lines, nobody knew who he was, didn't register, and uh, thus Jessica Lunsford ended up being another victim of somebody uh, who preyed on kids. Uh, I'm glad we added to the Adam Walsh Child Safety Act the requirement that if you're a sex offender and you're registered, you change states, you gotta register again or it's another federal offense. I believe that has been effective. But, you know, we don't, we don't talk about Jessica Lunsford anymore. Um, time's moved on. And I just point this out because what the committee's doing made up of a lot of trial lawyers, prosecutors, defense lawyers, uh, we have an, an obligation to get it right with children, and I say especially victims of, of, uh, who have been killed or sexually assaulted, uh, you know, just because they're kids. And that's who these predators pick. And uh, I think we build prisons. Um, we can talk about drug offenders and thieves and all of that kind of stuff, but we build prisons for people who hurt kids. That's why we build prisons, to keep them away from, excuse me, away from the rest of us and away from other kids. So. I just wanted to thank you for uh, what you all do in looking out for, you know, all kids, even juvenile offenders who are kids. Because we have a, I think we have an epidemic on our hands now. And now because of trafficking, something we didn't even talk about in 2006 when this bill was passed, uh, that uh, 
we have more of an issue of making sure we protect uh, our, our most valuable resource. So thank you all for what you do to make life better for kids. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. I yield back.